Oh my, good morning. <laughs> it's just after six. I'm waiting for a taxi to Media City to go on BBC Radio Wales to talk about slow TV. I've been awake since three, a bit wired. It's going to be a tiring one. Anyway, in less than an hour, it'll be done on the way back. <laughs> so here I am at Media City as dawn is breaking. It is beautiful. Look at that view. On air in about 12 minutes, so I need to get inside there. And if you look to the back left, there's a black cubicle. And that's the booth, the pod, that I'll be speaking to Radio Wales via. Have you heard of slow TV? No. It, it involves hours of uninterrupted coverage of a scene or activity, uh, things like open fires, people knitting jumpers, and waves crashing on the, on the shore. I've definitely been in a pub before now where they've had a television playing an open fire all night, <laughs> which it's looks like all right. It looks OK. It doesn't give out much music, heat. that kind of thing. Uh, well, I don't yeah. know. Let's find out, shall we? Because uh, it's coming to Mid Wales. Locations like Lake Vernwy and Blind Havren Falls will have live streamed, uh, will, will, will be live streamed online uh, to promote tourism. Uh, Tim Previtt is the author of the Slow TV blog. Hello, Tim. Good morning. Good morning, Ollie. Hi there. Have we got a grip on this? Do, I, do, do we fully understand what it is yeah. uh, from what we were yeah. saying just there? Like an open <laughs> fire on the telly? Yes, well, slow TV can be many things. It can be as simple as a single, if you like, static shot that isn't moving anywhere, but it can be end up being a national event on television. The Norwegians have been making slow TV since 2009, and several of their shows, they end up going on principal channels, like NRK1 and NRK2, very much like BBC1 and BBC2. Um, millions of people tune in to watch it. Um, they have a large production crew. It can go on for either several hours or even days. Uh, what do they show, um, Tim? Well, it started off with the Bergen to Oslo train journey, which was eight hours. Um, a few years later, they did the journey from uh, on on the coastal boat Hurtig Routen from Bergen to Kirkenes, which was five and a quarter days. Wow! Um, this year, they um, it's not just about journeys. This year, they did the uh, performance of all of Grieg's works, all of his opuses from start to finish over a weekend with um, orchestras and ensembles and soloists all across Norway. And this went out on the radio, as well as on the principal TV channels. That's a big isn't it? But we've had things like this, haven't we? Um, there was, uh, wasn't there a bus journey around Devon or something? that went, or, or Yorkshire, wasn't it? Yes. Yorkshire Dale's yes. bus that went, that, 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 um, that went viral last year. That was one. Yeah, yes, there was the Yorkshire Dales bus. Um, there was the canal journey, um, which I, they did from Bath to um, a bit further on from Bathampton. Um, and there's the reindeer journey. Uh, what, one of my um, critiques, a positive critique, is of the, the slow TV we get in the UK and in other places. It's not the entire thing. So when we had the canal trip, it started off at Bath. If the Norwegians had been making it, they'd have done the entire canal route, say from Bristol to London. And uh, shown someone uh, building the boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it, it would be uh, lots of different camera angles. When the Norwegians did their boat trip, it was 11 cameras on board. Um, so this um, is more than just a webcam, obviously. Yeah, yeah. The, the production quality uh, um, that, that's put into it in Norway is, um, significantly higher. Yes, people will enjoy it and get an awful lot from a, a very simple slow TV production. Like I think the stuff coming from Visit Mid Wales, Real Mid Wales, will be really enjoyed. But what the Norwegians do is bring an awful level of a national TV broadcaster, um, often involving 20 to 30 people, to put the production out um, over very significant periods on principal channels and sometimes even on um, prime time as well. So it's it's a very brave commissioner they have there, but it, it often produ um, produces a national hit. Well, this is all going to be on uh, on Facebook, isn't it? So uh, thank you very much for that, Tim. You can catch these on on Facebook on the Visit Mid Wales site on consecutive days at Lake Vernwy on the thank 16th you very of much. October, Have a good day. Uh, and is here. Bye -bye. Uh, near Machanfleth, most beautiful part of Wales, on 17th of October, then Blind Havren Falls the next day, Munt Beach near Cardigan on the next day, after that on October the 19th. <clears throat> Oh, that was very short and sweet, three and a half minutes. Um, I was hoping for ten, but anyway, always good to plug Slow TV and hopefully bring a better understanding to it. Now back out into the reception area.